back to my channel today is a very special day it's a very important day because today is payday and it's not just any old payday either it's january's payday so it feels like it's been 84 years since i was paid i have been staring at 20 pence in my current account for long enough and today those numbers changed quite drastically i've been working full-time now since i was 22 i'm 30 and i still don't understand why employees pay you so early in the month of December. My payday is normally on the 20th and every year they pay us earlier and earlier and earlier. But our payday in January always stays the same on the 20th. So we end up going like five to six weeks with no money. It's like they think to themselves, right, okay, we know that you need the money for Christmas so we're going to pay you earlier but then you're going to live on pittance. You're going to live on shrapnel and shingling till your next payday in January. Has absolutely nothing to do with the fact that I bought a brand new laptop in January or a brand new pair of trainers. I'm gonna ignore that. Cost of living crisis. Who is she? I don't even know her. Anyway, the long and short of it is that I am no longer giving Oliver Twist. I've got the cash. Cash money, Benny. And I'm not feeling great today. The health is mental, mental to the health. I don't know. I'm just feeling a bit down, a bit doom and gloom. It's freezing cold. It's January. January is one of my least favorite months. If I could cancel any months in the year, it would be January, February and half of March. Towards the end of March, I do start to cheer up a little bit because it's nearly spring and that means it's nearly Easter and that means I can eat loads of chocolate. Not that I need Easter as an excuse to eat loads of chocolate but you know it always helps to have a little bit of an excuse. So yeah January is just dark and miserable and not the one for me but today is payday so I'm gonna go book shopping. Well I'm gonna go to Waterstones and WH Smith in town. I'm, I'm gonna romanticize my life. So this is my plan. I'm gonna go to Waterstones, have a browse and then go to WH Smith, have a browse and then I'm gonna go to the drive in Starbucks and get myself a coffee because the Starbucks in my town centre where I live is trampy AF. Like it's not the cosy wholesome vibes that you expect to get from a nice coffee shop. It's just dirty. It's full of roadmen and Karens and just yeah. It's not a nice place. It's not safe for someone like me in this mood that I'm in. I'm go to Waterstones, WH Smith, get myself a coffee and then I need to go to Morrison's. Shock. I'm constantly in Morrison's. It's like I'm obsessed with that supermarket. I need to get something for dinner tonight and I'm also going to pick up some snacks because I'm not doing anything tonight. I'm just staying in. It's a Saturday that I'm recording this and the plan is to stay in with some snacks and read. So I'm basically having a semi-perfect day in that I'm going book shopping. I'm going to get myself a nice coffee. I'm going to the supermarket and get myself some nice food. And then I'm going to stay in and read for the rest of the day in the evening. Sounds divine! So I'm going to take you with me. There are a couple of books that I have in mind that I want to buy. My nearest Waterstones isn't too bad in terms of selection. The WH Smith is, mm -hmm. in fact, I don't even know if I want to go in there because that's also quite trampy. Like my town centre is just grim. It is so grim. Why am I even going? It's because I want to romanticise my life. I've been paid today. I'm in a good mood. Yes. I'm not really in a good mood, but I'm hoping that today's actions will put me in a good mood. This will also be the first time that I've ever ventured out into a bookstore and filmed content, like on my own. Every other time I've been with my husband, and he has been my cushion. So I don't feel like a complete loser. Do you know what? I don't even care. Social anxiety. I don't even know her. And then once I've been book shopping and got myself a coffee and then gone to the supermarket, I'm going to come home and show you what I bought. So let's get a move on. God, I was scared then that my car wasn't going to start. Don't do this to me! Oh, oh my God, shall we do carpool karaoke? <laughs> now I've got to try and not get road rage whilst I'm filming. Oi! Move out of the way! 22, I'm in Paris, baby. Got stripper stits in my face, uh-huh. Nothing I can see but you, but you dance, 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 yeah. Look in your eyes so devilish, uh. That's like, what, what, what? I think it's going to get... Ah! that every single roundabout. Anyway, I'm approaching the car park for my local town, so I'm gonna stop recording and then restart when I'm in the old stone. <laughs> Oh, 
I've decided to make a real day of it. I've parked in, what is this place called? I don't know, it's like a retail park. There's a range, there's a B&M, there's a Starbucks there. Um, so I'm gonna go and have a look in the range and in B&M, because we could do some new cushions for our bed. I did pick up some books, as you can see. Uh, when I get home, I will share. But that was a lot easier than what I thought it was gonna be. I was nervous about filming. I did actually wanna buy more books, but they didn't have what I wanted. So I might have to do a little naughty Amazon haul later. Oh. I love that smell. Oh! Oh, it's like crack. And I also had £10 on my Waterstones card, which I didn't know about. So it's basically free. I've basically not spent any money today. Girl, book, maths. So I may as well buy some more. <laughs> what a day! Bad mood who? Bad mood where? I ain't in no bad mood. So I'm going to go and have a look in the range and in B&M, and then I'm going to get my coffee. Hello? I'm going to go into Starbucks now. Do you want anything? Uh... How long are you going to be? Wait, 10 minutes? Uh, yeah, just a bit. Uh, so a strawberry acai with lemonade, please. A strawberry acai coming right up. All right, it won't be long. Hi. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Let's go home. I can't wait to go home. Because it's safe at home. Go on then, love. I'm going that way. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so I just got home and I was laughing to myself whilst I was in the car thinking about the title of this video, Cozy Book Shopping Bookstore Vlog, and thought, what about this vlog is gonna be cozy? Especially if it's just clips of me singing in the car. That does not scream cozy to me. I feel quite cozy now though. I've got the lamp on and I might light a candle in a second. Actually, do you know what? I'm gonna do that now. There we go. Am I an aesthetic girl now? Am I an aesthetic girly? Anyway, so I'm gonna share with you what I bought from Waterstones. Oh, I only picked up two books. They're both fantasy books. Uh, the first one that I picked up was Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. So I know this one is adult fantasy and I think it's the first book in a series. And it's about a guy who's a royal bastard living in a castle and he trains to become an assassin. I am so easily influenced because I've seen this book in a couple of videos where people have named it one of their top reads of 2023. And as soon as a book is ranked highly on somebody else's wrap up, then I'm sold. But I have also heard that the pacing for this is really slow. You do have to have a lot of patience with it apparently. Something that I don't have a lot of. General day-to-day -day life, no, I don't have a lot of patience. But with my books, hmm, depends. If I'm intrigued from the start, then I will stick with it. If we're looking at Throne of Glass, for example, that starts out quite slow and then does start to pick up in each of the books and in the series as a whole. Now I know that is classed as a YA series, this is adult fantasy, but I'm just trying to give examples, trying to make myself feel better. So I saw this and it's been on my wish list for quite a while, so I thought I'd pick it up. And then the other book that I picked up was again a book that I've seen in people's wrap ups for 2023, their top books of the year. And it is the Encyclopedia of Fairies. I've seen someone describe this as being cozy fantasy with an element of romance in it. And that there's gonna be three books in the series. I don't know a great deal about this book, but I know it's about an FMC who travels to a small town to learn about fairies. Fairies from either the town that she's traveled to or as part of her world, I can't remember. And she meets a guy. They always meet a guy, don't they? They always meet 
meet a guy that they don't like. Yeah, it actually says on the back, her insufferably dashing rival, Wendell Bumblebee. Oh dear. Poor bloke. What a name. All the names she could have given the love interest, and she goes for Wendell Bumblebee. That sounds like a shop for arts and crafts. Come and get your crochet items at Wendell and Bumblebee. All right, whatever, I'll roll with it. So they are the two books that I picked up in Waterstones and it only cost me £10 because I had £10 on my Waterstones card. So it's basically free. Girl book math and I made the rules. So I'm going to go and put these in my TBR cart. And it is also time for me to start a new read. And I don't know what I'm going to pick. I am definitely having a TBR for February because this is beyond a joke. But I'm going to go and get into my pyjamas and get all cosy, start a new book, and yeah, enjoy the rest of my weekend. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed that, please give me a like. And if you want to see more, subscribe. There's plenty more where this came from. And until next time.